So Julie's going to talk about how you can stay connected after this, right? All right. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, this is really exciting. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I came in a little bit later, but got to scope out some projects, and I'm pretty amazed. So congrats to you all for being here. I'm from an organization called Hive NYC. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple slides here for visual purposes, but this is, if you guys have questions along the way, you know, raise your hand and I'll, I'm happy to, to talk in a more informal way. But here are some pictures to go along with what I'm about to say. So Hive NYC is a local organization of um, educators and individuals and organizations across New York City that are all really interested in digital literacy and web literacy and bringing opportunities to youth in New York to learn it, to experience it, um, and to really connect around those, those areas. So there's a few things that are very important to us, one of them being peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. How many of you sat next to somebody today and had a discussion with them and learned something from them? Raise your hand. Awesome. That's exactly what we like to see at Hive. Uh, building partnerships and collaborations, that's another thing we do, and you did that today as well. You worked with other people, you learned from them. We really support interest-driven learning, another reason you're here today. You're, you're learning about your interests, you're growing, you're seeing things you like, and that engages you to go after them and learn more about them specifically. And you explore new ideas, you contribute to, to each other's work, and you grow from that. And one of our bullet points is contribute to a global network. And that's really key to Hive. There, we are one piece of a large network of Hives across the United States and the world. I'll show you a map in a minute. Um, and we are also a Mozilla project, which means that we are connected to a large group of global, a, a large global network that includes a lot of different individuals that are doing all kinds of different work. So we try to bring in all that Mozilla knowledge and expertise into our local network here in New York City. And here's a picture of an event that happens every year called MozFest, Mozilla Festival. Um, and we go to this and we learn, we get to meet so many cool and interest, and cool people and interesting projects. We try to bring it back to our network here. We share it with our, our organizations we work with and um, individuals that are part of the network. So we really try to grab everything we possibly can and bring it back to New York City. And here's a map. You can see the little hexagons there scattered um, of other, hi other hives in different cities. And there's a list at the bottom. This, will, this is growing continuously. So you can see Chicago and Toronto, Pittsburgh. Uh, newer ones are Bay Area in California, Vancouver. So the model that we've created here in New York City is really starting to grow. People are very interested. Who is Hive NYC? There's a map here I pulled, and it's zoomed out, so it doesn't give you great detail of where exact locations are. But there are about 82 organizations that are part of this network. There are museums, libraries, schools, nonprofits all over the city that contribute to this pool of knowledge. There's also educators and designers um, and community catalysts, makers, students, teachers, anybody who's interested in digital, liter digital literacy and web literacy really uh, enjoys being a part of this network and contributing to it. This is a short video I, I wanted to share with you that will give you a, an idea of an event model that we that we offer a few times throughout the year. I don't know if this sound's gonna play though. We are 
at the Digital Ready Maker Party. Today we are at the NYU Magnet Space uh, in downtown Brooklyn, where we're hosting kids from 20 of our schools, as well as partner organizations that we've worked with for the past year. And so we wanted to show off the amazing work our kids did with partners all year long, and also give kids from the other schools an opportunity to see what those partners were doing, see what their peers had been doing, and think about themselves trying those things out. And this is a great moment for us to bring all of the people we've been working with together. So it's the youth who've been in the Digital Ready after school programs. It's the Hive educators and the organizers and the nonprofits who have been teaching the youth. And it's a great moment for the youth to come and show others what they've been working on, but also to learn and to make new things. Our game is called Stack of Fact. The objective of Stack of Fact is to build the highest freestanding tower that you can with the cups provided. And what we are doing here is uh, basically showing off our game and getting feedback from uh, participants or other game designers. I was already very taken by the shadow puppetry work. They have these uh, cutout puppets and they do stop motion animation with kids. And Global Kids Around the Corner is doing uh, game design. Uh, Beam Center has all kinds of uh, construction type projects that are happening. In the glass classroom over there, there's going to be some documentary films that kids are going to be showing. I think that's my favorite part about this work is that they are so much smarter and uh, more resourceful than me, it's amazing. And I feel like I learn so much every day with the young people that I know whatever way you want about. I wanted to let you know that there is a web maker training happening in the computer lab starting right now. So As I walked around and saw what other organizations were doing, I was inspired. They came and checked in with us and they were inspired and it's quite literally a hive. I mean, we're, you know, ideas are growing exponentially by collaboration. That was my voice in the background that was very embarrassing, yelling into the microphone. <laughs> um, so there are some organizations here that are actually a part of the Hive. Lower East Side Girls Club, Dave over here. They are part, yeah, round of applause. I think the Knowledge House is here, but I'm not sure. They are also a part of the Hive. They were, okay. And anybody else that I'm missing? Girls, girls code, are you guys here? I don't know, I'm not sure. Super, AMNH, part of the network, yeah. So there's a lot of them, more and more every year. So we, we serve a lot of different groups of people. We serve educators, people that are um, out there trying to learn and practice new innovative models of, of learning. But then we also have um, youth-facing events and ways for people who are interested in learning new skills and trying new things to participate in the stuff we have going on through Hive. Youth events like the one I just shared, there's lots of different ways. Some of, some of them are small, some of them are large. This one in particular was at the Bronx um, Museum, no, sorry, the Bronx Library a couple summers in a row where it was a big maker party. So lots of different models of things. But then we also have really focused groups where educators come together and we host, we host these gatherings for them to explore very particular topics around education and digital literacy and web literacy. So we're really trying to constantly connect people around these issues. So we have a website and that's a good place to get started to see what we have going on. Um, this is a project portfolio gallery. In the gallery, you, you will see links to various projects that a lot of our, the organizations in our network have collaborated on. And each of these projects has resources, they have curriculum, they have uh, tools attached to them, so you can dig through those and explore them. And I pulled out a few just to point to. I'll pick on Lower East Side Girls Club, because they're here today. And they have a really cool project in the gallery that I'll point to. For example, this is one of the things we have up, Making Waves, the Science of Sound. So you can learn about this program that's happening at the Lower East Side Girls Club. And at the bottom of the descriptions here, you'll see some other information. Um, and particularly what we like to show is this, 
this series of resources at the bottom with links to things that'll help you guys learn the stuff that was done during this project. And a lot of the projects are still going on, so you can, you can contact these organizations and try to get involved that way as well. Now I'm not gonna be able to get back to my slideshow. Yep. Yes, they are great. They were, oh, I thought they were on my list. I guess they're not. Yeah, they do a great music program that you guys can, it's, a, it's actually a music camp that you can partic uh, participate in. So that is basically it. Um, here are some ways to stay connected to what we're doing and follow us. You can also get my info and um, you know shoot me an email if you're if you want to know more. Does anybody have questions off the bat or thoughts? Go ahead and shout them, shout them out. Yes. That's, That's a good a question. question. I mean, I'm, I, I think the biggest thing for me is to just make sure everybody knows that there's a lot going on here, and Hive is a good place to start to find it. We really want people to, um, to be able to find pathways through the great things that are happening in New York City. Sometimes it's hard. There's so much, but there's not really a place to, to find it all. So I think that's one of the biggest reasons why we thought it would be great to come to this event in particular. Anybody else? Yes. Do you need to apply or join or sign up or register? That's a good question. No, you, you don't. The, Hive is an open model, so anybody can be involved to whatever capacity that they're interested in being involved. Um, the best way to, to be connected, first of all, is to follow us on our social media. And then if you want further involvement, we have a listserv that is open to anybody who wants to be a part of the community. The listserv ha right now is about 300 or so. Um, individuals that are representing organizations from all, all over the city. So there's different levels of being connected, but no, the answer is no. There's no membership fee. Everything's, you know, ac accessible by anybody, no matter where you're from or, or who you are, you know, representing. Any other questions? Yeah. I have a little sister. How can I get her involved? How old is she? She's nine. Oh. Um, I think you, you'd probably be a good advocate for her to be monitoring the stuff coming through. And, it, you know, it, I can talk to you in more detail, but if you wanted to be on the listserv to kind of keep track of everything that's happening, you can do that. Um, I think a good place to start is on the website looking at all those project portfolios and seeing there's a lot of organizations that have specific youth programs that are directed towards that age group. So I think identifying those would probably be a good, a good place to start. 